My nominee for the Hero Hall of Fame is Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was born on February 4th, 1913. Rosa Parks lived in Tuskegee, Alabama, but later on in life moved to Montgomery, Alabama. Rosa Parks' occupations in life were being an accountant and being a civil rights activist. Sadly, Rosa Parks died on October 24, 2005 as a result of natural causes like old age. Rosa Parks had a loving husband named Raymond Parks, but sadly he died back in 1977. Interesting facts about Rosa Parks. Rosa was a civil rights activist before getting arrested. Rosa Parks was forced to move from Montgomery, Alabama shortly after the boycott. Rosa Parks was the first woman to lie to the U.S. Capitol. Major accomplishments by Rosa Parks. One of Rosa's major accomplishments are standing up against racial segregation by refusing to give up her seat on the Montgomery bus. Rosa Parks was awarded by NAACP. Rosa's story was written and published. Times Magazine named Rosa one of the 20 most influential people of the 20th century. After Rosa died, Obama made a statue of Rosa in honor of all of her hard work. These are some reasons why I think Rosa should be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Rosa Parks is an amazing civil activist who changed the world one place at a time. She started off as an accountant and just one day everything changed. She was asked to move from her seat in the African American area of the part of the bus for a Caucasian person to sit down. But she didn't take it. She was strong and she was loyal to her people and she made a change in this world. Here are three reasons why I think Rosa Parks should be a part of the Hero Hall of Fame. Rosa Parks should be a part of the Hero Hall of Fame because she changed the way people look at African American people. She made equality, friendship, and love. And without her, none of this would have been possible. The second reason I think Rosa should be a part of the Hero Hall of Fame is because she was such an impact on people. She taught people that they shouldn't be mean to African American people just because everybody else is. And last but not least, she helped people.